What's up, family? Welcome back to the channel. I wanted to take a moment to make this video here as a sort of a prelude to the actual reaction video where I found out the sad news that unfortunately we lost one of our family members. At the time when I made that video, I didn't have the information, you know, or permission to actually reveal who it was or anything like that. I wasn't sure, you know, for privacy reasons, if they wanted me to do that or not. But since that time, I've been able to reach out to the family and uh, I've been able to find out a ton of information, um, which I want to share with you guys so that you too can pay your respects to one of our family members because our family is important. Each and every one of you, no matter where you are in the world, no matter your, you know, your, your country of birth, your root sexuality, your gender, your color, your skin, I don't care. Any of that stuff does not matter to me. I love each and every one of you equally. This family is full of love. And therefore, I knew that you guys would want to share that love to one of our family members who's passed on and to her family who are still here dealing with this because once I tell you this story it's the the new information I found out is just it's it's really it's really deep it's hard man um to know that someone is going through this right now that has suffered great loss and I want her to know that she's not alone that she still has this family of people here from around the world who are here for her and uh, sending out positive vibes and good energy and and lots of love from afar so I want to share this with you so the family member I was able to reach out to, her name is Phoebe, and her mom is the one who passed away. Her mom's name is Laura Harvey. And Phoebe is 16 years old, and uh, her mom was only 38, which is which is way too young for anyone to leave this this planet, you know. It's just way too young. She had her whole life still ahead of her. And Phoebe, unfortunately, not only lost her mom two weeks ago, but 10 months ago, roughly, 10, 11 months ago, she lost her dad too. And then... Only a matter of months after that, she also lost her uncle. So, in the matter of months, she has lost three of the closest people in her life. She's only 16, and she's had to deal with this. This is such a huge thing, and that's why, even more so, I mean, on, on the best of days, losing life is always sad and and hard to deal with. Especially during these times when so many things are going on around this world right now that is making getting through a given day that much harder. So I really wanted to let Phoebe know that we are here. And I'm going to now read what Phoebe wrote me because I called Phoebe I didn't know I was calling Phoebe at the time. I reached out to the family. I wanted to have permission to be able to say who it was. I wanted to be able to pay my respects to the family because the way it all happened was just so unexpected. It caught me off guard. And that's why I myself even needed, you know, some time to process. That's why yesterday was not even a video. I just needed some time to process because it was so real and unexpected and just like after... Uh, I found out I uh, I never you know when I'm doing my reaction videos I never expect anything like that to kind of happen the way it happened was literally 
which is why I decided I made a decision to show the whole video completely raw and uncut because usually before a reaction, you know, I'm fumbling around, getting set up, doing prep, whatever I got to do to get ready, you know, and I usually cut that out. Obviously, I just cut out the reaction from where I start when I first start saying, you know, hey to you guys, and then all the way to the end, once I say, you know, see you later and snap my fingers, and then that's it, and I, I cut off the rest from what happens after that. But this reaction video, I've left it all in there because I wanted you guys to, to be able to understand and experience what I experienced, and I wanted to keep it 100 with you. My reactions, I like them to be real and not, you know, sugar-coated or made to look a certain way you know I wanted this to be real for you guys to to experience because that's how I do it that's what I do with my reactions so this shouldn't be any different I thought so I did my best to stay professional throughout that video and get it out to you but needless to say I still ended up with some tears um <sighs> There's like, I don't know, some construction or something going on the top of me. Um, so I apologize for any noises you may hear. Um, so <sighs> that's why I, you will see the whole uncut raw video after this. This is like a prelude with the new information I wanted to share with you all so that you guys uh, knew the backstory about her mom and um, what Phoebe is um, experiencing right now and so that you guys could also too because um, they were all part of our family they you know after reading this I found out and after talking to her on the phone Phoebe also told me that um, her mom loved the channel she she loved you know she was part of our family um, Phoebe is as well and um, you know it's it's family. We're family here. You guys all mean so much to me. I love each and every one of you. Um, we have a lot of love on this channel. We have so much love. And I knew that you guys would want to share that love with one of our own. So in Phoebe's own words, now I'm just going to read what she wrote. She sent me this. This is in Phoebe's words. I'm going to read this. And then I'm going to also sh uh, show some pictures of Laura that Phoebe also was kind enough to send and share with us. And then you will see the raw, uncut video uh, with the reaction requests, and you'll also see how that came to be the whole thing. So um, this is what Phoebe wrote. She goes, hey, this is Phoebe. I want to share this with you. My mother's story from the age of 21 to her passing at 38 years old. I am currently 16 years old and this story starts at the time she found out that I was going to make an appearance in her life. My Laura Ringley Harvey and my father Nikki Harvey decided they wanted to bring a child into the world. In September of 2003. In October 2003, they found out they were expecting me. I was due on July 17, 2004. My mom went into labor with me on my due date at 6 a.m. She finally had me on July 19th at 7.40 p.m. She grounded me before I was born. LOL. My mom was also a Marine and was deployed for 11 months when I was still a baby. Matt Brady, my awesome stepdad. Um, still be Matt Brady, my awesome stepdad. Uh, Matt Brady is her awesome stepdad. But we don't say stepdad and call him dad or daddy, Matt. Um... Matt was very close friends of mom and dad's. He called my dad this teddy bear, LOL. He was also a Marine and was deployed with mom. After she got home, her and dad decided it was time for me to get a sibling. Mom found out 
that she had cancer in her cervix and had to have surgery. However, they didn't catch that she was expecting. She was pregnant with twins. The surgery put a strain on the pregnancy and both of them were fading. God decided that to save my sister Shelby, that my little brother needed to come, come to heaven. But the doctors begged mom to abort Shelby and start treatments right away. She absolutely refused. Shelby was due May 11th, 2006. But mom had a car accident and Shelby was born by C-section on April 11th, 2006. She was born with both of her hips broken. Mom had 11 surgeries over the next 12 years due to cancer constantly coming back. The cervical, ovarian, uterine, uh, sorry, uterine, fallopian tubes, and stage three twice negative breast cancer. Year 2020 has been a year of so much sadness for us. My daddy, Nikki Harvey, passed away January 10th, 2020. Mom's brother, my awesome Uncle John, passed on April 11th, 2020, Shelby's birthday. <sighs> Mom didn't know how she was going to survive the pain from losing two of the most important people in her life. My dad had made Matt promise that if something ever happened to him, that he would be there for her and help her understand that life was still precious and to carry on with the next chapter of her life. Well, while doing just that, he fell in love with her. It's debatable whether it was wrong or not, but I know in my heart my dad was extremely happy about it. She got the dreadful diagnosis a couple months before The past that her time was ending. Before the past that her time was ending, she told Matt that she didn't want to pass without ever being his wife. So they were married in the hospital room. She wanted to go in her bed with the people and fur babies she loved. She easily passed away at home on October 13th, 2020. My mom was a brave, strong, completely selfless woman, an amazing mother and wife. She was an RN and worked as the charge nurse in the ICU at Vanderbilt Hospital. She owned and operated Guardian Angel Pitbull Rescue and fought as a Marine in Afghanistan, a championship barrel racer. She is buried here on the horse ranch next to my daddy. We miss her so much and love her with all our hearts, with all our, we so much and love her with our whole hearts, Simper Fi Mama. Thank you, Faith, for listening to her story. Much love. Back to you. So, that's what Phoebe sent me, and um, that was in Phoebe's words, and and it's it's um. She she literally sent me this uh, just six hours ago. I only read it now. I. I didn't read it until now because I wanted to read it for the video. <sighs> uh, I 
It's um. Uh, it's it's. It's it's never easy. These sort of things. I. I found this to be really just. Just. Heartbreaking, and. And I, I just want to take a moment to to send you lots of love, Phoebe, and our deepest condolences, and to let you know that we are all here for you and sending you positive vibes from afar and huge hugs, and I'm sure that you're in all of our prayers. And we want to, you know, to her loved ones that have passed on, to Laura, to Nikki, to John, we want to take a moment to, to, Tell them to also rest in peace and that, you know, we're down here just uh, wanting to show our respects and, and that every one of you will be missed, I'm sure, by, by the entire family here, your family, yours. Um, I can't even... I'm, I don't usually get so tongue tied. <sighs> it just hits hard, you know, you guys. We all, <sighs> I'm sure, have our stories and, and things and. You know, my mom, she died from cancer, too. When I'm reading this here, there's, there's things that I'm looking at, like her mom, you know, this cancer thing is just crazy that it takes so many lives. And it's, it's hard for me not to think about also my own mother who died from that, from reading this here as well I could say it's one of those situations that you know you you never get over these kind of things and I know that you all in the family have also shared stories with me about people that you know some of you have also lost your moms and dads and the sad reality is this year has been a huge year of loss we've lost a lot of our loved ones around the world, a lot of people who were taken too soon and unexpected because of the current current climate. Um, I was reading through this as well, and she was saying that uh, her brother was named uh, Shelby. <laughs> I'm oh, sorry, her sister name was Shelby, and my brother's name <laughs> is the same, which just caught me off guard because then I'm also reading this, and the day that Shelby was due to be born is May 11th, which is my mom's birthday. And I just, it's just, it was just reading all of this and all this together, like, it's just it's so real. It's so surreal. Like, it's crazy stuff like you know I can't help but think about my own you know family through reading this because of things like that that was just oh, so whew. 
I, uh, I'm in this, uh, video here. I think I've totally not done this the way I thought I was going to be able to. I thought I was going to be able to just kind of read this and, and, um, <laughs> and just be able to put the other video on for you guys, the, the actual reaction video. Um, you know, I've given myself some time to process. I just, it's just, this is one of those topics. I just, I, I, I really don't like th this topic in general. I'm sure a lot of people don't like this topic, but it's, uh, never gets easier, you know, knowing that people that we, you know, care about people who are part of our family, you know, and even though I know it's one of those things that all of us experience on this planet, it just still never makes it any easier. Um, I'm going to end this video <laughs> right here. Well, not the video. Well, this prelude video, I'm going to end and I'm going to um, just put the reaction video on and, uh, if you guys could be so kind to, in the comments, show Phoebe some love, I'd really appreciate that if you could give her some well wishes and let her know that we're all here for her. I really appreciate that. And yeah, just feel free to do that. I'm doing my best to hurry and finish this video now before the water works start again. I think there's plenty of that for the reaction video so i'm going i love each and every one of you phoebe i love you we love you and uh much love to you and your entire family through this 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 period of time and you're in all of our prayers and may your mother your father and your uncle rest in peace Not now, pizza boy. song in your channel. Oh, man. Hey guys, we have this reaction request here. I just want to welcome you guys back to the channel. Sorry, I just, I got caught up. Oh man, this is a hard one. I just wasn't expecting this. I, I saw the shout out for this song. And it just, it really made me sad because... This request here is from Matt Brady, and Matt Brady wrote in a shout out that this is for my wife who passed away on October 13th, 2020. And he wrote, she loved this song in your channel. And I 
was expecting to see like someone write that, you know, where they're like. <sighs> You know, I always say we have a beautiful family here. We have an amazing family. We have we have a family we've created here. It's just really I was not expecting this. I to know that you know one of our families, someone who who was actively part of our channel who liked watching our channel and being here and being part of it all has just passed away really is really sad and really um wow just so just uh, i was not expecting to read that it totally caught me off guard I just want to share this with you guys because, you know, I could have waited until I wasn't feeling so, like, emotional about it. But it's just, I want to keep it real with how, you know, just special all of you are and, and, and what you mean to me. You know, our family, we've grown from nothing and we have such a beautiful, beautiful family. Tons of you guys are regular supporters of the channel. And I just want to send you lots of love, Matt, and, and to your wife. love this song and your channel that's one thing about this channel like we never forget how real it is like I say it all the time but I, I'm, I'm constantly always there I would tell you guys all the time how thankful and appreciative of each and every one of you and how important it is for us all to live each moment to the fullest, you know, because we just never know how many of these moments we have. And I cherish each and every one of them with each and every one of you. Matt, thank you for sharing this with us. Thank you for letting me know. Thank you for letting the family know because we're all family here. We all send you so much love and hugs and and good energy and, and to your wife. I, I don't even know what to say. Just thank you for supporting our channel. Thank you for, for supporting me, being part of the family. Thank you for, for everything. I know that you are still up in heaven watching our videos with a smile on your face. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. I, I want to send you and your whole family everyone just my deepest condolences and well wishes wow this is It's so real. Oh my gosh, it's so real.
dedicate the song to you. And we love you and uh, may you rest in peace. And this is Pro Jam Black MTV Unplugged.
I was such a really, really good song. I really enjoyed that song. That was I can understand that why that was was why she loved that song, why she loved that song. I can understand why it's such a good song. I guess it might be the first time we've even done Pro Jam on a channel. And Pro Jam is such a really, really cool group with a bunch of amazing songs. So this has been really cool hearing this one. This one's extra special. And I just want to say again, just thank you, Matt, for sharing this. Because, you know, the thing is, the crazy thing in this world we live in, like, we, we, we would have never known if you hadn't told us. I, you know, it's a scary world when people we, we care about, we love, you know, it's like there's tomorrow you could be talking to someone the next day they're gone. It's, it's why we have to value and cherish every moment that we can if you're if you're far away from someone you care about pick up the phone ring them get in touch send a message let them know that they matter right now it's the hardest time i know for a lot of people to connect with the people that they care about and stuff i know it's 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 a hard time right now it's 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 crazy time Do your best to still stay in touch. Just stay connected. Because you just never know when, you know, it's the last time you'll be able to talk to them. And stuff. It's... <sighs> I had that happen. You know, my mom... I never got to, to say bye to my mom. <laughs> it's like our family, this here, what we're building here. That's why it's so important every single day that you guys know that you're loved. Each and every one of you, our family, is a beautiful family. We have, we have people in our family that that were huge supporters of 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 this 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 whole family. They. They're there even when you don't realize even in the chat. You know, we we know a lot of the family in the in the live chat in the live streams and there we know them in there and we talk and we laugh and all these things and you know it's a good time, it's a beautiful time. And those moments are so precious to so many of us. It's like an a beautiful thing. And it breaks my heart to know, you know, if any of you, you know, if 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 you were to to move on to the next life, you know, it would really just be such a obviously a really just heartbreaking thing. It just really. It makes you appreciate each and every moment. That's why I, I say it all the time, but I, I say it because I feel that way. It's so important. You have to live each moment to the fullest. You have to. These moments 
are what we have. I may have physically met all of you physically, but I feel like I've met all of you physically. Do you know what I mean? I feel like I've known you guys for for a long time now. You know, we've we we on this channel have content every single day. Every single day. Seven days a week I spend with a lot of you. Seven days a week I spend with a lot of you. That's a lot of time to create relationships. Seven days a week. Seven days a week. That's more than some people who live with each other. <laughs> Probably see each other sometimes. More than families who are families. I mean, I speak from myself. Spend more time with you guys than anyone else. That's why this family here means so much to me. Because we have something so special. I love each and every one of you. I have not said this person's name, by the way. I, um, for, for privacy reasons, I have not said it. Because I don't know if it's Matt's well wishes uh wishes to do so um matt put nickname here in the thing he put um matt brady and uh he he did not put um any other information so i don't want to s say anything you know that is not wanted for me to say um so that's why, in case you guys, I know some of you are probably wondering who, who it is or something. And I just, I can't, I can't say that, unfortunately. Um, just know that they're a part of our family and a very much loved part of our family. And, and we want to send them so much love and hope that they're able to rest in peace and, and your family and your loved ones and everyone our deepest condolences and so much love to you, all of you. And uh, I don't even know what else. I'm in this video here. I'm just not ready. Sometimes I'm just caught off guard. You know, I'm not ready for for this. And sometimes, you know, I joke around a lot. I, I I'm such a a clown sometimes and you know I'm so like to have fun and and energetically crazy sometimes I know and I just get caught off guard sometimes I it's like I just whew, just sometimes reminded how real everything is you know sometimes you forget how real every single thing is and how real this family is. And there's real people. You know, I look into the screen here. And I connect with people around the world. And, and it's real. It's the real thing that's going on. Sometimes when you're here, sitting here, you know, and you're doing these videos... You know, when it's not until you you read comments like this, you know that you're you're completely just reminded how important it is what you do because we we're, we're here, you know, our family around the world with so many beautiful, beautiful people, and we have this connection that we're sometimes just not even aware of, you know, that the people that are are touched and part of this family. And you guys send me a lot of messages and you say a lot of things and and you show me a lot of love. 
And I'm grateful for that. And I'm so thankful. I'm thankful for all of you. And Matt, again, so much love to you. And thank you for sharing this. Thank you so much. This means so much to to know that you wanted to make sure I knew. That is so cool. That's really beautiful that you did that. Thank you. Because it's nice to know that, you know, our family touches people that way and that you knew that she really enjoyed you know, this channel and everything and being part of this. It's really cool. Thank you for sharing that with all of us. And we all, on behalf of the whole family, send you so much love. I'm going to end this video. I'm going to end this video. I'm going to start crying again. <laughs> Peace.